Welcome back. So today we are going to look at how to restart a workflow. So our objective is to restart a workflow. So there are different steps you can do. I will put a, I'll put this in the in the description below. The approach that I'm going to take is a little bit different. I'm going to log into the eBusiness. I'm going to navigate to Workflow Administrator. Then I'm going to expand the Oracle Application Manager. Then I'm going to expand, then I'm going to click on the Workflow Manager. So this action would take me to a page, something like this. We got to scroll down to the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page, you would see Service Components. Click on the Service Component, which would take you to a screen, something like this. So our first step is to stop the services which are running. So you can see here there are certain services that are running. So this is an instance, uh, a dev instance or like a playing instance. Uh, so some of the components are stopped, some of the components are running. So our goal is to stop the ones that are running. So for each, if you notice, if for each component there is an action that's directly tied to it. So let's go ahead and click on that uh, drop down for the action. It says refresh. So these are the actions that we have. We have uh, we're going to stop the uh, process. I'm going to click go. It's going to take you to a screen something like this. Click on OK. So you can see that the uh, the component is now user deactivated. Continue the same process with all the other components. So you would see that uh, some of the components will be stopping, some of the components are user activated. You can click on go to refresh this page or refresh this components list. So once all the components are stopped, um, you can see that all the components are stopped, we can restart it after some time. So let's go ahead and start the services, the same process. So the, the uh, make sure that you're re restarting only the components that you deactivated. Uh, because some of the components are stopped for some, some other reasons, especially in the dev instance. So let's, for each uh, component, there's a corresponding action. Click on that action drop down. Let's start, uh, let's click on the start and click on go. So you're going to, you, you'll be presented the screen something like this. Click on OK. Uh, you would see that uh, um, you know, so you can you will see that it, it's going to show that the the component is starting. You do the same process for all the other components that you disabled, and uh, finally you will end up seeing a screen something like this. So click on go to refresh, and uh, you would see that you know if you can click wait for all the objects to be uh, in running status. So. Just a word of caution. Uh, be careful when we. Do, I mean, for it doesn't matter for the, any instance. You notify the appropriate users to make sure you're you're restarting the workflow. Uh, so anyway, when, it, when it comes to production, you know you need to be doubly sure. So once the components are restarted, you have to log out, log all the way out, uh, then come back and try your transactions. Thank you.